In this video I'm going to show you how to run multiple operating systems on a single server at the same time. You can um, create your own home lab, you know, test apps before installing them live and test out networking and you can also learn different operating systems. First I'll configure a server and then I'll install VMware's hypervisor the uh, ESXi 6.7. All right, let's go. Okay, so you're going to need a server to put your VMware hypervisor on. You've got a um, Dell PowerEdge R610. And you'll need a couple of USB thumb drives. One's going to have the um, install on it, which you can download from VMware, and you get a six, 60 day trial for free. And the second one's going to actually hold the operating system. And I'll put that in the internal one here. You might think, well, that's pretty, pretty poor. It's going to be pretty slow, but it actually loads everything into um, RAM before it starts the OS. Then you're going to need keyboard and mouse combo, wireless. That's the easiest thing to do. Just whack that in the USB. You got everything happening, and obviously a monitor. And you can only use VGA in this particular model. And we've got some uh, drives, storage. Got a few normal HA uh, SAS. Hard uh, disk drives. Also got a couple of um, solid state terabyte there. And we're good to go. Okay, so we're booting up the server and we'll just wait for it to come up to configure the RAID controller. And the old PERC H700. I'll just do one here. RAID level zero. This is one of my SAS drives. Hit space bar. And we're not, we're just gonna make it a RAID zero, just the one disc. I don't wanna um, add any other discs. So we'll call that SAS 300 01. Oh, and you've gotta um, initialize discs just do it fast isn't it that's good to go so now I'll do the rest speed it up so I won't bore you to death Man, that was tedious. All right, so we'll get out of that. And we'll reboot the whole thing. Okay, so we're rebooting. And we want to go to the 
by our spoke manager. F11. And this will take a while. Okay, so for some reason the um, USB drives are in the um, hard drive C menu, God knows why, but remember we put the um, install drive on the front, that's that one, and that's the internal one. We want to boot to the um, front USB one. So hit enter there. And here we're going to install ESXi 6.7. And here it goes. Okay, so hit enter to continue. Read the license. F11 to continue. It's looking for the um, all the drives connected. And it's found all my um, drives. Now, I put I, on purposely. I, I put um, the install ISO on a 16 gigabyte USB drive. So that's that one there. So I don't want to override that one. I want to do that one. And that one was an 8 gigabyte. Otherwise, you could tell which one's which. So, enter to continue. got some shit on it but we're okay with that us default root password passwords match enter enter F11 install. Okay, now it's rebooting. Okay, because we um, installed it on the internal thumb drive, we're going to have to change the BIOS to boot from there. So we'll hit F2, system setup, and boot settings. Uh, disk drive sequence and we want number one to be the cruiser blade boot sequence cruiser blade hit space to get a tick and hit space to get rid of that one and escape Escape, escape, save changes, and exit. Okay. 
Now it's loading up for the first time. Okay, so it's booted up. We might just want to set up the static IP address. So we'll press F2. And we'll just put in the password. And I'd like to change the um, network to a static IP. And scroll down to set static IP4 address. Space bar. And we want to make this one six. Oh. 60. You can make it whatever you want. Okay. And DNS. We want to use our router as a DNS server. So that's good. Escape. Escape. Apply changes, yes. And there we have the address 192.168.160. So you start up your browser, type in your address. Here's your ESXi machine. In my case, um, my Dell PowerEdge R610. Username root. Login. And here we have the interface. And if you downloaded it from VMware, you got 60 days. And here's where all the fun starts. Create your VMs. Um, handle all your storage. Add data stores. Have a look at your hardware. Monitor how it's going, how your server's going. Um, power supplies, current, how your fans are, speed, all that sort of stuff. Gives you a lot of info. So, in my next video, I'll be showing you how to create virtual machines. Okay, bye for now.